Hey there, it's Potmos and nice of you to join me for yet another and also the probably last episode for now for Prison Architect. We've built quite an impressive prison. It works, we make money, we're doing quite good. So yeah, I think this will be the last for now. Um, we'll have to make some improvements still, though we were improving the uh, maximum security area. And most of the maximum security prisoners now have a good cell. But we still need a few more. We already told these ones to no longer be cells, so that's good. And now we can get rid of everything and can make sure that we um, set this up in a correct way as we want it to be. So let's head over here. Let's dismantle these objects. There we go. Everything will be dismantled. After that, we can, of course, demolish the walls in here. And once that is done, It'll all be fine. We can just make those new cells in here. So there they go. Pretty busy. Making sure everything is gone. Ooh, those were still cells. So let's go to rooms, cells. Make sure that those are also no longer any cells. Yeah, there we are. All right. Now I'd like to do a little bit of planning to see how much we can do. So if we want to use the regular size prison like all the others, can we really do what we want to do? Just like this, and then they'll be like this. All right, so this should be it. And let's just see how many cells we can fit in. Um, yeah, this will probably be it, I think. So we'll do it like this. Uh, no, this is wrong. Like this. Yeah. This seems to be fitting. And this should give us enough cells, of course, for what we want. Um, so let's get working on it. Let's start constructing these, make these very good maximum security cells. And afterwards, I would like to start working on a criminally insane wing. Now, I have to be honest, of course, I don't think we'll be able to uh, finish that. Um, and I am going to end this series because I want to do a different game, because we've been playing this for quite some time. But I can already tell you, I will continue this and release a few extra episodes in which I actually finish the um, Criminally Insane Wing, so that you can see how that works and how that goes. Um, but it will be released on other times and other dates, and not um, on the regular times, because I really want to get going with Farthest Frontier. All right, I think we can um, easily copy this now. And place this in here so that we can really build these cells. Of course, we'll have to check the utilities, but that will all work out fine in the end. And I do believe we have plenty of cells or for solitary cells, so we don't have to worry about that as well. It can all just be fine and, and work out. So let's check utilities. We need to have utilities all the way like this, all the way like this, and all the way like this. And that should be it. Let's go check the um, power lines. Well, I think if we do it like this, that'll be fine. All places should have power. Now, there'll be no doors in there yet, which is good. We'll first build everything, and then we'll put the doors in, and they'll immediately count as cells. Let's check the needs. Well, family needs almost gone, so that's a very good one. We are really working on that one. Recreational need is down. Hygiene need is down. So, yeah, I do spot the difference in before we started to enhance our cells, and now that we are already quite busy with it. So it, it really works. And still, we have a lot of cells to enhance, of course, but that's going to be fine. And here we go. They are actually starting to build everything. Yes, they are. All right. I think we can uh, skip all plans. 
Because we're already building everything here. Now, while they are busy with this, I'm going to go here as well. Because I want to get the criminally insane wing here. And what you need to know about the criminally insane is if you really want to deal with them, you um, probably want to make sure that you keep everything separated for them. So yes, we're going to build a complete wall here, so that everything is walled out. And afterwards, we're going to um, completely seal this area off and give them everything for their own. So they need psychiatrist offices, but they also need their own canteen, their own kitchen, their own visitation room. So um, that's all going to happen um, in this area, because that's just the most safe way to get things done. Now, the most easy way to do that is by um, closing off these areas, of course. Um, we'll close it off with walls first now. And then we can add a few doors to it and tell it to be only for the criminally insane. Um, that could work. I'm going to leave this open for now so all staff and people can get through easily. Now what are they doing here now? Because this is where they should be building now. Ah, oh, they're doing a good job. Already putting in quite the uh, equipment and things like that. So yeah, this is coming along nicely. Ah, here we have an autosave. So that's always sl slows things down a little bit. But it works. Getting some lights in so they can actually see what they're doing. The level of contraband in the prison is out of control. Yes, I know. Let's do a tunnel search everywhere. That will help us find tunnels, but also help us to get rid of some of the contraband. Um, now, there's no contraband that they can grab from inside these parts, but there's a lot of contraband that they can get from this side. So, uh, that's a thing to work on. Ooh, we found a very small tunnel. That's good. We found it, so we can get rid of it. And we found it early, so that's good. Let's hope they can get rid of it quickly. Yeah, this was good. Alright, we need to buy 10 bags of fertilizer for a mission, and if we want to do that, we just get to go to policy and continuous fertilizer, compost fertilizer. And there they bought it. So that worked. Um, maybe we should do high quality fertilizer anyway. Uh, but yeah, we got another mission done. Let's see. Is there another mission that we can get that goes about the criminally insane? Yes. Build a wing cell block for the criminally insane with 10 padded cells. Get ten people in and hire two psychiatrists. Alright, this is going to be the mission that we're going to do at a certain point. Now, I'll leave them to this because they can do all that they need to do right here. And I think we are going to do some planning here. Oh, now that it's getting dark, that's quite tough. So I guess we'll have to wait a bit. Oh, there comes the light again. So we're closing these areas off. Um... I think we could just use this space to um, start building straight away. So, for instance, down here we can create the offices for the uh, psychiatrists. So, let's get going like this. Two, three, four, five. Yeah, so if we do it seven by seven, then we can immediately see the right size for the offices. And this will also help make sure that no stuff can be thrown over. So, I think this is good. This will all be offices and some water and power. So, yeah, we'll leave this one pretty big. That's okay. Uh, I think we're going to get rid of this one. This will be water and power, stuff, something like that. Then we'll have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven offices for psychiatrists. That's good. Wow, look at this, by the way. This looks cool. They're actually doing a lot of harvesting and stuff like that. That's nice. Now, let's see. So then we get a hallway here. And then probably right here. How big should we make it? If we make these, this whole block as padded cells, or would that be a bit too much? I think that would be a bit too much. But I think if we copy just one size of block, block size, so 23 by 39, we can put the cells in there. 23 by 39. Same size as this should be. Like this. We can fit the cells in here. And we can maybe do the cafeteria. Because it just needs to be small. 
So if we make the entrance right here, we'll just leave a little bit of space. Like three. And then we can start with the cells. One, two, three. Yeah, this is good. Alright, so this is one cell. It, yeah, this is all a bit planning. One, two, three, four. Maybe we should do it with four cells on each side. I think that'll be good. That way we get 16. We should be able to get 16 cells in here for the criminally insane. And that should work out. I think that's fine. Three, three, two. Have to get a lot of extra doors, of course. But yeah, this is good. Then we can make the cafeteria right here. So we should close this off with a door, I think. And then we'll... Um, if we have only 16 prisoners, it doesn't have to be too big. How long is this? This is 19. So it's 17. We could go with 9. Yeah, so the wall should be here. Now this should be the same size. This is 10 and this is 10. Yeah, so that's good. So we can make the cafeteria right here. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 4. With a small kitchen and some extra stuff in here. Cafeteria. And maybe we can do something like a common room here. I think we should do that the other way around, by the way. This should be the cafeteria. This should be the common room. Nice. Ah, and they're already building the wall here. That's good. So they're closing this area off. That's precisely what I want. But I'm not sure if you were going to use all of this also for the criminally insane. So we could just do it something like this. That this will be the whole criminally insane wing. Interesting. Is this done already? Almost. So yeah, let's put in the doors. And let's, of course, yeah, deployment is still for the heavy criminals. So let's get to um, prison doors. Put in the red doors right here. So that these are genuine cells. Ah, they found a tunnel. Or at least they hear sounds of a tunnel. That's probably it. So we're going to do a tunnel search soon. That's fine. Apparently we need to do a little bit more wall. Yeah, we need to build a wall here and a piece of wall there. Apparently missed it. Alright, let's go. They found a tunnel right here. So let's get rid of the tunnel. Let's do another tunnel search. You need to keep doing tunnel searches, most preferably every night, to really make sure you get rid of all tunnels. This is looking good. Alright, so as soon as the doors get in, you should see cells becoming ready. So now they can be used again for maximum security prisoners. And that'll be pretty interesting. Alright, we're doing the tunnel search. It's working out. Yeah, this cell is now ready for the heavy maximum security prisoners. So we can have more prisoners turn maximum security because we have their space for it. And I like to keep it that way. Right, they're really stuffing some stuff into the pantry. That's good. The walls here are being built. I think we should start working on um, the foundations here now. So let's build a foundation here. We need to put in a door, of course. Well, we can do staff doors. I think we should do normal doors for the psychiatrist. I think we'll start with four psychiatrist offices in the beginning. Um, just to make sure that we get plenty of them as soon as we take the criminally insane in. And of course we need a staff door right here. If we're going to place the utilities there. Now let me check. There are no utilities in this area yet. So that's good. And that means that there will be no interference. This wall is done. Almost. Just one more piece to go. So they'll be coming in with all the stuff that we need there. To finish this. So it'll be a step-by-step -step process, of course. But it'll be good. This is now done. Yes, this is completely done. Ooh, we just need to 
put in another piece of wall here. Oh, that's still under construction, so they'll be there soon. And I think we can place a few more cameras again. We already had those. Yeah, we still have three left now. So let's hang one here. Hang one here. And put one up um, here, I think. And then we can connect those to these console here as soon as they're placed. Here comes the piece of wall. That's good. Let's do a... Uh, are they pretty happy? Yeah, they are pretty happy. Almost 80 prisoners say they are well treated. We found another tunnel, apparently. Prisoners are very busy with the tunnels lately. Um, but I think... Yeah, most prisoners are doing good and are happy. Let's keep it that way. Food is fine. Other stuff is fine. Not a lot of fights. So I, th I say things go remarkably well. Sell 50 harvested carrot potatoes. Oh, we need to um, sell some stuff. So if we go to ingredients, we should probably do it like this. So they will start to sell some stuff. And as soon as they have sold everything, we can put this back, of course. But now they will sell the excess ingredients, or at least they should. All right, those cameras will are, are in place. So let's go to the utilities and uh, connect the cameras to this console. I do believe we should be able to hang them all to that console. Yeah, apparently we are. That's good. So we've got a lot of cameras in there to make sure that the prisoners are... Um, behaving the way they should. We have a lot of license plates laying around here that need to be taken somewhere. I guess if we stop um, all the building here, then pretty soon they should be working on that. All right, let's put in a few lights here. And at the same time, we are going to start putting in the utilities here. Let's get the power station in, and let's get the water pump in. Do it like this. Of course, this needs to be connected. And we'll get this out here. Like this. This should work, so that should not be an issue. We can put a few extra walls in here, so that the offices are ready. And then hopefully we can create very good psychiatrist offices. This is all done. Yeah, okay, that's good. Still have plenty of money, so that's not an issue. Uh, let's see. Rooms. Psychiatrist office. We'll turn this... Ooh, this is not good. I was going to click the upper corner as well. Alright, minimum size 4x4. Four four. We need an office desk. So let's get going with an office desk. One, two, three, four. That's good. Then we need a chair. Of course, because the um, psychiatrist need to be able to sit. We need a uh, filing cabinet in all of them. Place it right here, I think. Yes. Then we need a white sofa. Or a leather sofa. Alright, so let's get the... Um, the sofa in. One, two, three, four. And I think we should also just get a normal chair in. For a prisoner to sit in. And this should be the um, psychiatrist office. At least this way they should be done. Alright, I think everybody's pretty happy. Let's do a shakedown of the medium security. Just to get rid of a lot of these um, things. Yeah, they are. All right, a lot of contraband is being taken. That's good. Ah, we have another tunnel found. Let's remove it. Let's just do it like this, so that all tunnel and all tunnel pieces that are still there are completely removed. Yes, that's good. Now, they all have these drinks, and I think they all got them from this vending machine, apparently. Because there's no other vending machine around. Where they could have gotten it from. Ooh, there's a tunnel exit here. Yeah, there's escapes. Let's remove the tunnel. 
So now finally they should be able to find the entrance and we can deal with it. That would be perfect. Yep, there it goes. Alright, let's fix this tunnel immediately so all prisoners can have a cell again. Oh, this looks good. They're fixing it already. Of course, that's going to take time. We need to put in the extra capacitors here. In order to have enough power to, to get everything around. And I think we need to start working on the foundations for this piece. Uh, and I'm going to do the whole foundation at one go. Just like this. Then we can put in doors, the large white jail doors for the, um, well, criminally insane. I don't see any padded door. So apparently we don't need to have a padded door. I will do a prison door in there as well. And one here. No, we'll keep this closed. This will be the only entrance into the criminally insane wing. And what I also want to do is build a wall here so that we can t just tell this area to be for the criminally insane and other prisoners can come in there. I think that'll be a good thing. Right, now they can start working here. Apparently, it doesn't work as I intended to. So we'll have to do it like this so that the cables get inside and actually provide some power. It's fine, of course, but it's just a little bit annoying. Well, at least we have the psychiatrist's office, so we are prepared for that. All we need to do now is hire a few, but let's not do that until we get criminally insane. Can we actually already take in criminally insane? It's unavailable. I think we have to put them on. If we go to the menu, um, the game menu, of course, you can set it to uh, extras and then the map settings, and the criminally insane are turned off now. If we turn this on, we can get the criminally insane, and prisoners can turn criminally insane. And then we can get up to, like, well, set it open to receive 10 criminally insane prisoners. And after that, just save the space for uh, making sure that we only get a small amount, because we don't have enough room for a lot of criminally insane prisoners. I think we should also help we we'll start with this, get this done. Maybe I should do a few more episodes with this, because there's still a lot of work to do to this prison. Ah, we'll see. It's still a lot of fun, though. Ooh, this looks really nice. Right, they're fertilizing the ground, getting good crops out. What should I do? Can I just sell this easily? Yeah, oh, we can just do it like that. We can select stuff and sell it. Bananas, already on the list. Well, let's sell it. We'll just see. This is tomatoes. This is light. This is potatoes. Let's sell them. Let's go here, potatoes. Let's sell them. Did we sell enough potatoes already? No. There are 19 potatoes. Let's go. This is a storage shelf. This is weed. Do we need to sell some weed? No. Barley. It's not on the list. Carrots are on the list. Tomatoes. Alright, tomatoes are done. Cabbage. Do we still need to sell cabbage? Yes. So let's sell this. Maybe we should go to the other pantry and then pantry and then do it right there because I think that's totally stacked up. Yeah. So this is easy. Carrots. Sell. Carrots. Sell. Carrots. Sell. Is that enough? Yes. Potatoes. Um. Carrots. Carrots. Cabbage. Yes. Sell. Let's sell these. Alright, so we're almost done. Tomatoes, carrots, 
carrots, tomatoes, tomatoes, tomatoes. Oh, carrots. Oh, I don't think we, we do a lot of cabbage, apparently. Or we're using it all in the kitchen. That's Oh, there's some cabbage. 21. Let's sell those. Carrots, carrots, carrots. Oh, we do need to sell potatoes. I thought I found some potatoes. Oh, apparently not. Oh, well, it'll be fine. At least we got something done. And we can now check if they did the work here. Yeah, they did. Oh, that's good. That is good. And we have lighting here now. We should probably just leave this door open. So that everybody can just get in and out. Let's lock it open. And this is almost done as well. Let's continue with some walling. Just to make sure that these cells get ready. Which is pretty cool if we can actually get those um, criminally insane cells. I would love that. Don't think they would. Oh, I miss clicking a lot. That's not good. Really keep the focus here. Maybe build something. Now I'm thinking we should just give them everything as well. I'm I'm not sure why we shouldn't. So we should probably just do a quick build cell that we already have and just give the criminally insane all the luxuries that they need just to keep them happy. Ooh, that's wrong, that's wrong. We do not need to place this here. No, 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 no. Let's get rid of this one. Yeah, that's better. Um, let's do another quick build. Do we still have everything on it? No. Okay, let's go here. Let's select everything again, yeah. Because we needed to turn it around, of course. Need to do these now. And now we can turn it around and do these. Luckily, we have most of this stuff still in storage. So it can be built quickly. We can... Get the power in. We should be getting the water in. Just like this, yes. Um, luckily, there's not too many cells. So it's just a matter of getting some piping in. That's it. Let's see. Yeah, they should be able to build this quickly. Need to be prepared by putting large jail doors this direction so that they can get to the common room as well. But these will be the padded cells. I'm just thinking, since we have only one entrance, we don't need to put a door in here because they'll just give them an escape route. So if we continue and build a wall, come on, build a wall right here and right here. We need to put the doors on this side and we'll put a staff door in here so we don't get any um, criminally insane prisoners in the kitchen. I don't think I want that. All we want is kitchen staff in there. Let's put in some lights here. That's all done. Let's get the utilities here. Um, so this is also for the common room, of course. Then we can just put this up like this. And then we'll wait until all the appliances get there and we'll put them in to uh, make sure that we um, power them up correctly. But this looks good. Well, we're getting close to half an hour, so I'm going to cut this one short. I'm going to record a new one fairly quickly. It won't be on the regular time, but you will get to see how the um, criminally insane wing comes together. So don't worry about that. And of course, on the regular time, you will see Farthest Frontier. So thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed. If you did, please give this video a thumbs up. If you haven't done so, please subscribe to my channel. And of course, I hope to see you in another video. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.